Hello. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Good teacher. Good. Good evening. Good evening. Hey. Everything okay? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay. Hi. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. Good evening. Everybody doing great? Yes. 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 No rain. Here it's no rain. Okay, it's not raining. It isn't, isn't rain. raining. It's raining. Oh my God. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Welcome. Thank yes. You. Here it's raining again, but it's raining very lightly. So there's a light rain, not a heavy rain. That's good news because uh, just about an hour ago, it started as if it was going to be a big rain, but then it stopped. So thank God. I was a bit scared. I was not going to be able to teach, but thank God it stopped. All right. Good evening to our last class. So fast. <laughs> yes, time flies. Time is money. Yes, I see maybe most people are able to connect tonight. Welcome. And of course, we're going to make a review of yesterday class. What was the topic yesterday? Let's see. Any, any memories? What you remember? Tell us. Uh -huh. Antonyms. Antonyms. Mm. Yes, we started antonyms. What else? Mm -hmm. Past models. Do you remember past models for expressing? Past models. Uh -huh. yeah. For expressing opinions and Suggestions. Suggestions, exactly. For opinions, we use would have to. And for suggestion, should have. Yeah, would have and should have. Yeah, that those are the structures for the past models that we used, exactly. Now, as the first activity in today's class, we are going to write one or two sentences using should have to. Should have, I'm sorry, should have and the verb in past participle. Well, yes, I, I'm, I'm saying something different. Okay, I should have married sooner. <laughs> I should have bought the house my parents sold. When we use should have, sometimes we also use it for regrets. Debía haber hecho o no debía haber hecho algo. Yes? If you have any regret in life, now is your opportunity to express it. I should have studied a master degree. I shouldn't have bought that car. I should have bought the, the house I rented before. Yes? Si tienen algo como un regret, un regret es como un resentimiento que tienen que, ustedes dicen, debía haber hecho o no debía haber hecho algo. Yes? So write one or two sentences about regret, either in affirmative or in negative. I should have studied English before, probably. I'm just saying examples, right? I shouldn't have invested my money and the business because I lost the money. Yes? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Patricia says, she should have gotten married until you got a degree. Remember, in this case, it's about something in the past. So we need the verse in past, right? You should have but, gotten, but. got or gotten, yes, it's possible, until you got a degree. Yes, those are the only okay. corrections I could make. Yes, that's nice. But I want you to express the regrets in your life. Yes, <laughs> you say, hmm, I should have, I should have gone to that trip. I didn't go and then I, I spent my money and I didn't know the place. 
for example. Yes? I should have accepted the job I was offered. Yes? I should have uh, built my own house. I should have bought um, a house. I rented, I had like my regret. <laughs> I shouldn't have spent so much money in unnecessary things, right? So let's see, you express a regret in your life. One sentence, it's okay. I should have or I shouldn't have. Yes? I give you one minute to write your own regrets using I should have, I shouldn't have. Uh huh. I should have gone to the zoo. Remember, go when oh, gone. Uh, exactly. Past participle. Yeah, I should have is. gone. I should have gone to the zoo. I should have understood at the first time. Okay. Nice. That's a good example. Uh huh. That that happens when you, when your parents are giving you. A lot of advice, and it is Debes haber entendido a la primera. You should have understood at the first time. Okay. Uh huh. Any other? Good evening, everybody. Hey, good evening. Welcome. How are you? I should have seen. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Ah, sorry to hear that. We are writing regrets about our life. I have a personal regret. Now I remember. When I was in high school, I was offered piano lessons, but I didn't want to take them. I should have taken those piano lessons because now I want to play an instrument and I can't. Uh -huh. I should have seen my grandma before. I should have spent more time with my grandma. I should have visited my aunt more often because my aunt passed away last year. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Any other regret? I should have done more exercise. Now I want more weight and now it's more difficult. <laughs> I should have gotten married on the 20th year. <laughs> Me too. No, I'm kidding. No, I probably should have gotten married in my late 20s. <laughs> okay. I should have adopted a child before. Yes. Mm hmm. And where are you, Miss Gracinha? Hello. Where are you now? Are you at work? Oh, no. I stay in my, in my home, but... Uh, but you don't have the computer today. Yes. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, yeah, I see the screen. It's in my, the in my, in my bedroom. Your bedroom. Okay, nice. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Any other regrets? No more regrets. Nice, you don't have regrets. <laughs> I say, I should have learned to play the piano. I should have taken lesson, pian piano lessons. I should have bought another car. I should have visited my grandma more often. My grandma and my aunt. I should have done more exercise. I should have been a pilot instead of a doctor. No, come on. <laughs> that is just to use the structure. <laughs> I know you yes. are a happy doctor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I should have played a violin. Exactly. I should have learned to play the violin. I should have eaten more healthy on this vacation. That's right. Me too. I should have eaten healthier on vacations. Yes. I should have gone to a, to a celebration I was invited because a former student of mine graduated as a doctor and I didn't go and then she got mad. Yeah, <laughs> she I got can. angry. <laughs> yes, I should have chosen my friends better. Oh yes, 
That's another one. Very good regret. Sometimes we get in troubles because of our friends. On high school, yeah, when I was in high school, I should have chosen my band, my my friends better because some of them just got in trouble and then they asked me to to lie for them because they say no. If my mom asks you, you tell them that you that I was in your house, and they were not in my house. Of course, <laughs> okay. I should have gone to the uh, to the hiding with my son. Hiding. Uh, what is excursion? Ah, hiking, probably. Hiking. And yes, on I'm a trip. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. On I should trip. have gone to the trip with my son. Yeah. I should have taken more pictures on my vacation. Yes. Ah, now I remember another regret. I should have made a backup on my old computer because when they formatted, they deleted all my photos when I was young. I have no photos. So <laughs> I lost all the photos because I didn't make a backup. They thought I had made a backup, but I didn't. So I should have made a backup of the old computer. That's nice. I should have taken more pictures on my vacations. I should have taken and saved more pictures. Yes, that's right. When I was in, in Washington, I also paid for a, for a trip to the, to the White House. And my friend lost the memory of the of the camera, so I should have taken my own photos. <laughs> okay, I shouldn't have shared that picture. Yeah, sometimes we share some photos, and then we're not happy with the results. That's right. Okay, nice. Thank you for sharing your regrets. Some real regrets and some other <coughs> invented regrets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay. The idea is to use the structure of the past models. Okay. That's awesome. All right. What are we going to do today, tonight, in this beautiful night, fresh, kind of raining? We're going to review the past, uh, the use of past models. Okay. Would have and should have. Of course, this can be in negative form as well, right? In negative form would be wouldn't have and shouldn't have. Yes? Yes. yes, yes. All right. Uh -huh. We already have the sentences. You said, I say three sentences in my planning, but then I ask you for one or two. <laughs> because I said, okay, it would be faster if they just write one or two instead of three, but it's okay. You already wrote some of them. Okay, so these are the structures that we've been uh, studying. To give opinions, we use would have plus the past participle. To give suggestions, we use should have plus the past participle, right? And these are the structures, okay? For the sentences and for the questions. For the statements, affirmative or negative, we have subject would have or wouldn't have, right? Should have or shouldn't have, and the past participle and the rest, like the complement of the sentence. And for questions, we have the WH word, what, where, why, how, who, sh I mean, would and should, plus the subject, plus have, and the past participle, okay? These are the structures. Of course, in questions, it's not very common that you use wouldn't and shouldn't in negative, right? But in the statements, if the statement is a negative statement, then definitely you have to use wouldn't or shouldn't. Yes? Yes. Any yes. question? So far, so good? Are we good? Are we okay? <sighs> <laughs> it's a lot of information. <clears throat> and we need to practice the past participle of the verse, right? Okay, yes. Uh -huh. I know. Go, when, gone. Do, did, done. See, so, seen. Eat, ate, eaten. Remember? The yes. third the third form is the past participle. It's what we need here because we have part of the auxiliary have. So we say would have, should have. So it's would have, should have, right? All right. Yeah. We have this exercise, the beautiful exercise, okay? Read the situations in column A. 
what would you have been or what would have been the best thing to do okay when people say this expression in a more fluent way they say what would have been what would have been right what would have been the best thing to do let me move this right here i usually use the spotlight because i love the spotlight all right so read the situations in column a okay then of course we have the column b right what would have been the best thing to do choose the suggestions from column b so these are the suggestions then compare with a partner of course we're gonna compare with a partner because we're gonna work with a partner the teacher borrowed my favorite book hi poor teacher <laughs> the teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled coffee all over it and then you start saying you should have spoken to him about it I would have told her that I prefer something else. I would have spoken to the teacher about it. I would have, uh -huh. what letter do you think is the best suggestion for the situation number um, one? I, I think uh, I will I will have waited for the, I uh, know, I will have the, the, spoken to the teacher about it. Uh -huh. I would have spoken to the teacher about it. Exactly. I would have I would have or I would have spoken to the teacher about it because the teacher <clears throat> was not very careful and spilled the coffee all over the book, right? That is a terrible mistake because whenever you have a book you have to be very careful and especially if it's not your own book, you borrow this book from another person, right? Okay, so this is the exercise we're gonna work on. Is it clear what we're gonna do? Yes, teacher. All right, perfect. Yes, teacher. I'll make four groups. Four groups is okay. And uh, I saw a classmate shady on hmm. the I broke her a little about it. Mm -hmm. I would have told her that it was something else. I would have waited for the other to come back. You have to something else. I will have to say anything. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Uh, letter A. I don't know. I think it's later. You should have spoke to him about. about, about no, it's, it's the fear. It's, it's the, the, the one. You should have spoken to him about it. Yes, letter A. A, but okay. Three is a friend of mine always has messy hairs. 
So I gave him a comfort his birthday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher, ¿cómo hacer trampa? ¿Cómo hacer trampa? Exactly. Yeah. It can be, it can be, yes, in an exam, it's copiar de un libro, de otro, de otro texto o de otro compañero. Pero también cheating en otro contexto también puede ser como eh, ser infiel. Like, when you're mm. cheating on your husband or your wife, it's like being with another person. Es trampa. Ajá, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but right. in this case, yes, in that is, context, it's cheating from an exam. For yeah. an exam, it, yes, it's copying okay. from another partner or a book. Mm -hmm. Ah, and the the oh, I wouldn't ha have said anything. Maybe I would have said anything. I should have said anything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's letter F. Bye. Veamos la tres. A friend of mine always has messy hair. So I gave him a comb for his birthday. Oh, Ay, que no está el regalo. Está bien. Entonces, you should have spoken to him about it. I will have told her. I will have told her that I prefer something else. A. A. Yes, it's letter A. Yes, I think that letter A. Uh, so, uh -huh. the next one. I hit someone's car. When I was living in a parking lot, uh, luckily no one saw me. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I will have uh, letter D. I will have wait for the owner to come back. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. The letter D. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the number five. My aunt gave me a cigarette but I don't smoke. So I gave it back it's to back her. To her. You shouldn't have exchanged it for email. Sorry? The letter E. You should have exchanged, exchanged it for something oh. else. Yeah. What? Letter. Maybe letter uh, A. A. Uh huh. You have spoken to him about it. Yeah, it's okay. And number five? Or my, maybe letter H. H. Should have left a note for the owner. Hmm. Could be H. Mm hmm Okay. Number five? My aunt gave me a cigarette lighter for my birthday. My birthday. But I don't. I, I don't smoke, so I gave it back to her. I, uh, you should. Uh, let it be. Let it be. I will have told her. Okay, letter B is number five. And a friend, my the... classmate, a classmate will probably, uh, what is it? Okay. 
Maybe the number three is. Number? Number three. Have uh -huh. another answer. What letter? Spoken. And you have. Uh -huh. Letter T is a la uno. Letter E. Letter E should have exchanged. Yeah. I will. You should have exchanged. Okay, let me see. Number two, maybe it will, will be, I will have spoken to a teacher about it. What do you think? Number two is letter C. Number three, some friend, letter, letter E. Number four, it's someone's car when number H or letter D, I will have wait, waited for the owner to come back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Probably, uh -huh. and number five. Okay, number five, my aunt. Letter B. B, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because it say, but I don't smoke, so I gave, gave it back to her. Uh-huh. Okay. And the other classmate, what do you think? Hello. Yo oigo poquito porque está cayendo una gran tormenta, pero sí trato de seguirles. Ajá. Ok. Ok, no hay problema, porque tú estás allá en, en la libertad, Santa Ana, ¿correcto? Santa Ana. Santa Ana estás ahora. Ok. Sí. Ok. Bueno, no hay problema. Okay, we answer, maybe we answer the five sentence. You finished? Now, yes? Yes. All right, perfect. No problems. I'll close the rooms. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi. Don? Hi, Don. Okay, <laughs> yes, <great. teacher. laughs> awesome. Somebody has a question, Mayra? I see your hands up. Do you have any question? No? Sorry. It's okay. It's all right. No problems. Okay. Let's compare our work. Mm -hmm. As as the teacher borrowed my favorite book and spilled coffee all over it, we agreed that it was letter huh? e. Letter e. C. E. Right. E. Uh huh. I would have spoken to a teacher about it. Probably the teacher can pay the book. <laughs> okay. All right. I saw a classmate cheating on an exam. So I wrote her a letter about it. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, you should have left a note. Oh, no, no, no. 
Is there an E? Is there an E? You should have exchange it for something. No. Letter F. Letter F. I wouldn't have said anything. No. Ah, yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? I don't know. Yes. Yes, yes. Maybe it's a possibility, right? But that's what we usually do. Do nothing. Uh, somebody is you, cheating. Uh -huh. You should have warned her not to do it again. Yeah, you should have warned her not to do it again. Exactly. Give a warning. Okay. I will say letter G. A friend of mine always has messy hair. So I gave him a comb for his birthday. Um, I would have told her that I prefer something else. <laughs> okay, but you gave the person a comb to comb the hair because he always has messy hair. Maybe letter E. Letter E, you should have exchanged it for something else, not for a comb, because that was a stray message. Comb your hair. <laughs> okay. Yeah, probably letter E, right? You should have exchanged it for something else. Uh -huh. For a nice shirt or a chocolate, because it was his birthday. <laughs> okay. I hit someone's car. When I was leaving a parking lot. Luckily, no one saw me. Letter D. Letter D. Uh, I would have waited for the owner to come back. Integrity. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw me. Run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Oh, Please. Oh, and now letter with A. the cameras. <laughs> the camera saw you. Okay, my aunt gave me a cigarette lighter for my birthday, but I don't smoke, so I gave it back to her. Better be. Better be. Yes, I would have told her that I prefer Better something be. else. Thank you, Grandma, but I don't smoke, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And the letter A, we have it as an extra one. Probably in the case of the, it's a storm here. Okay, in the case of the of the car owner, right? You say you should have spoken to him about it, right? It could be a possibility as well, or in the case of the classmate as well. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You'd have spoken to her about it as well. All right. Is there any question regarding vocabulary in this exercise? No? No. No. Great. Awesome. Okay. Let's move on. Wait a second. Yes, there's another one, another exercise. <laughs> Uh-huh. You shouldn't have lied to the teacher. What do you think is the best match? It's a very similar exercise. But your dad came personally to invite us. He wasn't you should have time. told him told him the truth. You should have told him the truth. Yeah, you shouldn't have lied. A similar meaning is you should have told him the truth. Yes? So it's a very similar exercise we are going to work on right now, okay? In the same groups, it's okay? Okay. Right. It's okay. Perfect. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead.
You should have to tell him the truth. You shouldn't have lied to the teacher. So the answer, I believe, is uh, you should have told him the truth. You should have told him the truth. Yes. Okay. Uh, we, we wouldn't have come the next. We wouldn't have come. Uh, maybe uh, then we could have walked home together. Uh, the next, uh, you, sh you could have Kyle, his wife. No, you should have. I. Mm. We will. Uh -huh. La tercera sería he couldn't have killed his wife. Killing his wife. You should have told oh. me the truth. Mm -hmm. No. Well, se me va esto. He couldn't have killed his wife. He must have been really angry to have used such language. Mm. But everyone put pressure on put so and so I did. Mm -hmm. It was an important decision. It was as important. It was an important decision to have um, probablemente esa sea. Yeah. Fue una importante decisión. Lástima que no están enumeradas, pero bien, ahí sería la 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, sería. 8, 9, 8 era, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Tres. Uno, dos, tres. Hoy la cuatro. I couldn't have carried the plants home. The plants home. Um, they are too heavy for me to carry. To me to carry. The plants come. We shouldn't have told him the truth. I see. Then we could have walked. I think that, but everyone put pressure on me to do so and so. I did. I think so. Mm -hmm. I do. So. Um, the next one. So I'll just. Sure, you have discussed this with your family. Uh, we would have been better the one. Sorry? Would have been better that one? Um, I guess. 
Uh, I think it's correct. Hmm. It was an important decision to have or no. I think I, it was important decision to have is, is the next one. The next one, okay. I wouldn't have kept it though. Yeah. Mm. Or no. Mm -hmm. no. I have been better that one. Wait, wait minutes. Then we could have poker home together. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay, the last one. I wouldn't have keep the dog. No, the last one is show you have this this two set this with your family. Yeah, but you you answer that. You say uh, it was an important decision to head to head us. Uh, what do you think? Um, decision he was into in town the day when she was moved move yeah and yeah. which yeah. he wasn't is in town the day she was moved ah um, la, really? uh, <laughs> la, the clothing have killed his wife uh, yes. What, what is the answer? It was important. I, I, I believe the the the, the for last. It was an important decision. To have, I, I believe. Ah, yeah. It's, ah, okay. It was important decision. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yo creo que estamos. Okay, um, Cecilia, are you with me? Yes. Really? Or do you believe is other uh, uh, answer? And the last one that I wouldn't have keep the dog. What is the meaning? Did you finish? Yes. Oh. Yes, almost. No, not yet. <laughs> okay. No worries. It's all right. Let's see. Let's double check. Okay. All right. Let me move your photos somewhere else. Okay, this is okay. So the first one we had done it before, right? So you yes. shouldn't have lied to the teacher. Mm -hmm. The match was? 
You should have told him the truth. Right. We wouldn't have come. No hubiéramos venido. Then we wouldn't have come. I walked home together. Okay. No. Is that possible? Then we... The other possible is that everyone put pressure on me to do so, and so I did. Okay, everyone put pressure on me to do so, so I did. Is there any better possibility? We wouldn't have come, but your dad came personally to invite us, <laughs> okay? Mm. Nobody chose that one? No. No? <laughs> okay, let's not do that one yet. Let's do okay. the other ones. He, he couldn't have killed his wife. It was not possible that he did it. He wasn't he was in town. He exactly. He wasn't, he wasn't in, town in town the day that the she was day murdered. She was murdered. So it was not possible that he had done it, right? So I couldn't have carried the plants home. They are too heavy to, heavy. to carry. For me. Exactly. They are too heavy for, too me to heavy for me to carry. <laughs> Two heavy uh, plants, okay? Normally, wouldn't have spoken those words. He must have been really angry to have used such language. Yeah, normally he wouldn't have spoken those words, right? So he must have been really angry to have used such language. Maybe mm -hmm. cursing words. Wouldn't you have waited five minutes? <laughs> Couldn't you have waited five minutes? Everyone put pressure on me to do so, and so I did. <laughs> All right. Did anybody else choose another one? Then we could help local. Exactly. If you had waited five more minutes, we could have walked together home. We could have walked home together, actually. Yes? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you have discussed this with your family? It was an important decision. It was an important decision to hand. Exactly. It was an important decision. It's better. It's, it's similar when you say two heads, things better than one, right? It's very similar to Spanish. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have kept the doll. But everybody puts put pressure. But everyone put doll. pressure. Exactly. Everybody was like, keep it, stay with it, poor dog. So I wouldn't have kept Yeah, that happens to me, actually. Okay. <laughs> well, someone put pressure on me to do it, so I did. Now I have a dog. Okay, so we wouldn't have come. But your dad came personally to invite us, right? So this would be the best option. Wouldn't have been better than one. This one, I don't think it has any match, right? So it's an extra one. It's just to distract you, okay? All right. Give me one second. I'm going to make a review. Do you remember the topic we studied before this one? Does anybody remember the second conditional? If I were rich, I would buy a house at the beach. No. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make an exercise with this one, okay? Just for fun. Let's see. Okay. Give me one second. I need to move this right here. Okay, here we go. I would live on a desert island. I would sign many autographs. I would have a driver's license. I would eat hamburgers every day. I would scream. I would go to bed early. So which is the match? If I saw a spider, I would scream. I would scream, okay. 
Ajá. Uh -huh. If I were you. I would go to bed early. I would go to bed early. If I were a celebrity. Uh -huh. I would sign many awards. I would many autographs. I Sign many autograph, right? If I were in the U.S. now, <laughs> I will eat hamburgers every day. I would eat hamburgers every day. If I were older, I will, I will live on a desert island. <laughs> I will live in a desert island, or I would have a driver's license. I think this one sounds better because of the other one. Uh -huh, if, okay. if I That's could right. live anywhere, right? I could be anywhere. Huh? I would live. I would live in on a desert island. All right. This is just to review the second condition. Okay. But let me do something right now. The other one is to review the topic that we have just studied. It's very similar to the past, well, yeah, the third conditional or the past and real conditional. One second, please. Here. Okay. <laughs> okay, if I hadn't decided to learn English, I would have studied French. I would have gone to university. I would have, what would you complement the sentence? If I hadn't decided to learn English, I would have missed the opportunity to meet you. <laughs> I don't improve in my speaking. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have improved my speaking. I would have rested, but I would have forgotten my English, right? Okay, nice. We're gonna eliminate this one. Sorry? I wouldn't have a better job. Yes, I wouldn't have had a better grade, could be. Next one. If I hadn't come to class today, if I hadn't joined this class today, uh -huh, I would have gone to the park. I would have done exercise. <laughs> no, if I hadn't joined this class today, I would have gone to a funeral. A, a friend of mine. It wouldn't my... be the last day of class. It wouldn't have been the last day of class, could be. Mm -hmm. I would have done something else, right? I wouldn't have learned this topic. I wouldn't have practiced this topic. Yes. All right. Another one. <laughs> you will have saved a lot of money if if you hadn't bought that expensive cell phone. <laughs> uh huh. If I haven't buy some clothes. If I hadn't bought some clothes, right? Mm hmm. You would have saved a lot of money if you hadn't, or if you have used public transportation, probably. If you hadn't paid for taxi rides all the time. That's my case sometimes. Okay. <laughs> all right. If you hadn't left the window open, the burglar hadn't gotten in. <laughs> uh huh. Any other way to complement this sentence? If you hadn't left the window open, the mosquitoes wouldn't have gotten in the room either. Right? 
on ships. Or the or the room had yeah. been very hot, probably. If you hadn't left. Wouldn't. Exactly. Getting. <laughs> wouldn't have uh, made your water. things wet. The water, yes, wouldn't have okay. gotten in. Exactly. That's great. Or the clothes wouldn't have gotten wet. All right. Almost there. Five more options. Uh huh. This is another regret. If I have <laughs> followed my parents' advice, <laughs> many people, when they get older, they say, if I had followed my parents' advice. Si le hubiera hecho caso a mi tata, dicen a ver. I would have studied. I will have studied um, medicine or law or business. Uh -huh. I would have made business, right? Probably. ¿Cómo se dice um, profesorado? Uh, degree in teaching. Teaching. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teaching. But yes. I know, study. but I didn't follow my <laughs> my parents' advice. All right. If if I had known it was your birthday, I would have bought a present. I would have made a surprise party. I would have bought some flowers. I would have made a cake. Right. All right. So this is like almost the last one, I think. Yes. See, we we'll just have three more. I wouldn't have gone to the restaurant if I wouldn't have gone to that restaurant if I had known the food was not very good. If I had known the price was very high. Yes. Maybe I would. I would restaurant um Faisca do Brasil. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't have yes. gone to the restaurant if you have recommended me another one, right? It's <laughs> delicious, delicious. Really? Food. Is it Brazilian food? Yes. Mm, sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna try Brazilian food. I had never tried Brazilian food, by the way. At my age, imagine. Mm. If I hadn't spent all my money, I would have saved. <laughs> I would have saved for a house. <laughs> I would have uh, invested in some businesses, right? Okay, good. All right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. This was just for fun, don't worry. Because we have practiced a lot with the previous structure. All right, it's time. Oh, oh my yes. God, I'm going to miss you. Good time. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> now nobody wants to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to say goodbye. Well, Liliana, yeah, we have seen Liliana since this week on camera. <laughs> okay. Yes, and some people, Mr. Reynaldo, probably we never saw Mr. Reynaldo on camera. No. No? No. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, yes, we saw him. <laughs> yes, we did. A Carlos too, from Chalatenango, right? Tierra de Vida, Tierra del Jardín de Cuscatlán. Yes, we did. Ah, uh, yes, Elizabeth, Miss Mayra. We saw Mayra. No. No. Uh, Mayra was having problems with with the rain, right? Because she's from Santana. Yes. No. Thank you. Oh. Lucy from Santana. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, it was a pleasure. Many blessings. Keep practicing. 
continue learning, never give up. Speaking another language has a lot of benefits, believe me, for your health. <laughs> there's a there's a study, maybe Dr. Patricia Herrera is going to correct me, pero hay un estudio que dice que si una persona aprende a hablar otro idioma, aparte de su idioma nativo, obviously, tiene menos probabilidades de desarrollar Alzheimer. So, it has benefits, <laughs> health benefits, okay, and opens more possibilities, okay, so nice meeting you, nice having classes with you, I'm very glad you were a wonderful group, even though the conditions were different because we have to work on Fridays, and that was great, so maybe I'll see you around in life, <laughs> or in real life, not on a camera. Okay. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. My pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you. Teacher. Many blessings. See it you. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure yeah. to work with you. Thank Learning you. with you. <laughs> nice. Yes. I am very, very happy and very glad you have learned. And little by little, we accumulate knowledge yeah. in the language. Okay. That's great. I believe we I believe we wanna miss your your laugh. <laughs> My laughing. <laughs> My crazy laughing. <laughs> yes, I yes. know. But laughing is contagious, okay? So you laugh and, more yes. and more people and will the, be happier. And the laughing is healthy. I know it is. It is <laughs> true. Yeah. Okay. So but overall uh, I I'm going to meet us that your your English is very excellent thank you thank you so much you also really, have really a very excellent. good very yes. good level of english keep practicing as i told you before never give up never stop we never I stop believe, learning until we leave this world yeah yes. so keep I learning believe, uh, you, you you inspire us to my battery to is like up. you oh my god okay Bye -bye. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Bye, Bye, everyone. God bless Bye. you. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.